Hey everybody, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thank you guys as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. I've got an Aroma Cup exclusive for you today. We're going to be talking about a brand new entry into the world of single serve coffee making and that is the coffee bean and tea leaf Americano single serve coffee maker. Really cool machine that kind of bridges the gap between simply making coffee and also make us making espresso and some specialty drinks. So I'm going to show you how we can make use of it to brew a couple different types of drinks real quickly and tell you about the features of this awesome new machine. So let's dive right in and talk about it. All right, guys, so here it is, the CBTL Americano. It's made by Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf, who's well known for their retail coffee shops. But in this case, they're diving into the world of at-home single-serve coffee making with this brand new machine. Now, this machine, one of the very cool things about it is that it bridges the gap between simply making coffee and also giving you the ability to make espresso drinks at home. And it does that by making use of a coffee capsule type which is fairly similar to someone which we've seen in the past. So let me just show you one of our capsules real quick and then we'll talk about the machine. These are the CBTL coffee capsules which this machine makes use of. Now they look very similar, you're going to notice, to the Nespresso Grand Cru capsules which we've talked about in many of our videos in the past. Kind of about the same size and sort of the same shape, but the cool thing about these is that they come not only in coffee capsules, but also in espresso capsules. So in the case of the Nespresso capsules, you were limited only to espresso. But with the CBTL machine, you have the ability to make regular coffee. So we'll show you how you can make some drinks in just a little bit. Let me show you some of the features of the CBTL machine first. It's a pretty straightforward and easy to use machine. It's got your water tank mounted right on the back. Real easy to fill up. Not only can you remove it from the machine, but you can also just open this door on the top of the machine and simply pour water into the unit. So that's really useful. There's not a filter in this tank. So you probably want to make sure and make use of filtered water anytime that you're pouring water into, this, into the Americano. That's just going to really improve the quality of your coffee and your drinks and things like that as you go along. On the front of the machine, the tray is very unique. And that's because it latches on by use of a small latching system right here, which allows you to set how high or how low you would actually like for the tray to be. Or, of course, you can simply take the tray off if you're using a very, very large tumbler. But in this case, I'm going to keep the tray on the lowest setting for right now because that works really, really well, I've noticed, with very large uh, cups and tumblers and things like that. But later on, we'll show you how by moving the tray up, we can save some splashing and a little bit of mess making by changing where the tray is on the Americano. So that's a unique feature. And also the tray gives us access to the drain receptacle, which is right here. We just simply pull that out. And this is where our empty capsules are going to go, as well as water runoff from the machine. So that's something that is also fairly unique to this machine and the way that it's set up, is that whole system here on the front. So let's move up to the top. Now, on the top of the machine right here over the brewing spigot, we have all of the buttons which we use for accessing our brewing settings. Now, as I mentioned, the Americano can do a number of different drink types. It can do espressos and it can do coffees and teas. So on the top right here, your first two buttons are a single, a single shot of espresso and a double shot of espresso. So if you're going to be making espresso shots using the machine, you're going to use those two. Moving on down the list, you have an 8, a 10, and a 12 ounce coffee or tea. And then here, you have a nine ounce, which is specifically meant for hot chocolate. So if you're going to make a hot chocolate or something like that, which shouldn't use a whole lot of water in order to keep the flavor profile of whatever drink it is that you're making using that specialty capsule, you want to use that nine ounce button. One of the things I should mention about this unit is that 
the first time that you ever power it up, you want to prime the pump. And what I mean by that, guys, is that this machine has a pump in it, which is very similar to the pumps which we've seen in Nespresso machines and some of our other single serve machines. It specifically applies a large amount of water pressure to the capsule which we put into it. So when you first power this unit on, and sometimes every once in a while if you haven't powered it on in a while, you want to prime the pump by simply opening and closing the capsule receptacle right here, and then simply choosing one of your brew sizes. Usually the double shot uh, espresso button will work well, or using the nine ounce button will work well. Now I'll just put some hot water through and get the pressure built up in the machine. That's something that I've found definitely makes a better cup of coffee with this one. So let's show you how it's done. Uh, we've talked about the machine, showed you all the options on it. Let's show you how we make use of it. Um, brewing is very, very easy. This silver handle, you can see when I ratchet it back and forth, it gives me access to the brewing receptacle here on the top. This is where I'm going to put my, my coffee capsule. And this again is kind of similar to the Nespresso machines that we've used in the past because our coffee capsules, such as this uh, Viennese brew that I'm going to use right here, just make a regular cup of coffee using the Americano, they only fit into the machine in one specific way. You know, I can't fit it the wrong way. So it's relatively foolproof, which is great. And in order to make use of it, I just simply drop it in and it locks itself into the proper location for brewing. Now I can close up the brew basket. And now I've punctured holes on either side of this coffee capsule. And now it's ready to brew. And I know that it's, it's ready to brew because each of these buttons on the top is going to be glowing red. Now, this is one thing about this unit is that it doesn't have a whole lot of lights and bells and whistles and things like that. You're not going to see a lot of flashing and so on and so forth with this machine. It's just very straightforward. If you know what kind of drink you want to make, you just dive in and you make it. So let's go ahead and make a cup of coffee, of course. Uh, so I'm going to select to brew a 10 ounce cup of coffee right now. So all I need to do is press the 10 ounce button here on the top of the unit. So here's an interesting thing about this machine, guys. It does sound kind of like an espresso machine. It has a good strong pump in it which is going to, again, force water and pressure through my coffee capsule. So it's kind of like an espresso machine, but it also does coffee, which I think is really, really cool. Because one thing I've noticed is that it definitely makes a great cup of coffee. Um, based on the cup size which I choose, I have noticed a little bit of a difference in the strength, but I have noticed that even going all the way up to a 12 ounce coffee size, I still get a really good, strong cup of coffee, which I think is pretty impressive considering the size of these coffee capsules. I mean, they're really not very large at all. And it's also a pretty fast machine. You know, I mean, you notice it started brewing very quickly and it's got that water tank, that water reservoir on the back, which always keeps water hot and ready to go. Uh, I have noticed that it definitely brews pretty hot as well. Uh, I should mention that you cannot set the temperature on the Americano. So that is something to keep in mind. If you like to be able to control the temperature of your single serve brew, you can't do that on the Americano. But let's go ahead and see where this is coming out right now. So we're coming out right now at just about 150 degrees, just somewhere around there, which is pretty good. Um, and you'll probably see that temperature go up a little bit as you continue to use the machine if you brew multiple drinks in a row and various things like that. So it's something to keep in mind. You can't control the temperature with this machine, but I've still noticed that it really does make a great cup of coffee. I mean. That doesn't look watery or anything to me, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, so there you go. That's a cup of coffee made with the Americano. And cleanup is real easy with this machine. This is, again, kind of like some of the Nespresso machines, such as the Pixie and the Cities that we've used in the past. In order to clean up, all we need to do is open up the brew basket right here. And we're going to drop our used capsule down and into that basket that's on the bottom of the unit. One thing I can tell you is that this 
brew basket really ratchets down. I mean, it takes some pressure in order to cause it to lock down. Don't be afraid to push it down. It might feel a little uneasy at times, but it's important that it gets that amount of pressure onto the capsule. Uh, so let's go ahead and make tea. And I'm just going to use an English breakfast CBTL uh, capsule right now. Again, real easy. Just drop it into the brew basket and close it right up. Again, you can really hear it ratchet down and lock in onto that capsule. And that's good because it's going to make sure that I have the most pressure. Now, uh, again, guys, I was talking about how we can make use of the tray by moving it around. So let's go ahead and slide the tray up. And now I have my tray a little bit higher on the unit, which is cool because this will save me from a little bit of splashing and mess that can come by having the cup down on the bottom when you're dropping a lot of liquid in and things like that. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to brew an 8-ounce cup of tea right now. So I'm just going to hit the number 8 uh, button here on the top of the Americano. Now again, remember, in comparison with some other single-serve options out there, uh, this machine doesn't specifically know what type of beverage you are making. I mean, if you choose to use the 8-ounce option, that's simply going to be 8 ounces of water. If you were to choose, let's say you really like a strong cup of tea, you could use the single-shot button for brewing tea. Uh, it would probably make tea that's a little stronger than what you would care to have, but all this machine is really going to do is portion out the water based on the button that you uh, decide to press. It's, n it's not a very computerized type of machine. It doesn't uh, read based on the type of capsule that you're using and things like that. It just has different water portions set depending on what button it is that you press on the top. So when it's all done, you hear it double beep, which means that you're all finished, and of course the pump shuts off. And you can see that I save myself a little bit of mess by moving my tray up right there. And there's my English breakfast tea. Again, I can tell you from experience that the Americano makes a great cup of coffee, a great cup of tea. But let's talk about one other great thing it can do, and that's making a great shot of espresso. So I have here a Continental Espresso CBTL coffee capsule. And this is something that's pretty unique to this machine. Uh, the machine I've been comparing it to, many of the Nespresso machines, only make espresso. In this case, this machine can do espresso and coffee, which I think is really, really awesome. Not a lot of other single-serve machines out there can cross that bridge very, very easily. So let's go ahead and drop my espresso in. Now the cool thing about this is that you can combine making espresso with the Americano with this awesome milk frother, uh, which is available from the coffee bean and tea leaf as well. And we're not going to talk in depth about the milk frother today. You'll want to check out our other videos to find an overview on it and how to make some different recipes making use of it. But using it in conjunction with brewing some espresso with the Americano, you can make some awesome at-home cafe-style drinks. So again, let's close up that nice and ratcheting brew basket on our espresso. And I'm going to grab now one of my favorite cups, this Bodum espresso cup right now. And I think maybe we can move our tray up one more step here. Yep, there you go. So this is the cool thing about that movable tray, guys. Move it on up just based on the type of drink and the size of cup or glass or tumbler that you're going to be making use of. And that way you can save yourself from, from, from some spillage and splashing. I'm just going to go ahead and brew a single shot of espresso right now. So again, all I need to do is choose based on the single shot or the double shot button here on the top of the Americano, I'm just going to press the single. Now again, because there's a pressure pump built into the Americano, it is going to apply a lot of pressure to the coffee capsule or the tea capsule, whatever it may be that you're making use of uh, in the machine, which is really great because, as I say, it does create a very good coffee brew. You know, I mean, I have here what I think is a really great shot of espresso. I've got some nice crema on there. I have nice layering showing me that I've gotten a good, strong brew out of the Americano, which I think is really, really cool. So you can see that you can do a number of great drinks using this machine. Now, with that espresso shot that I just pulled, I could move on and I could do a latte, I could do a cappuccino, various things like that. I get a lot of different options, which I think is really, really cool. 
And there you go, guys. That's how you can make three really great drinks by making use of the Americano from the coffee bean and tea leaf. Uh, now, you'll want to check out, of course, some of our other options if you want to, our other videos if you want to check out the other options that are available to you uh, for making different beverages with the CBTL Americano. But I think that if you're looking to bridge the gap again between coffee and espresso and really be able to make a multitude of different drinks, this is a great machine to dive in and uh, start making use of. I've had a lot of fun with it, and I really think it makes a great cup of uh, coffee, tea, or espresso, depending on what it is that you're looking to do. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. As always, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com. Always thankful for you joining me here. Please join us on the website. Talk coffee with us. Check out our other videos. And until next time, enjoy your cup. I'm going to enjoy mine, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.